Self-driving car company Waymo is now one step closer than any other company to getting its vehicles out on the roads. Night Beats Maria Medina is in Mountain View with one man who says this will change his life. Sure, it's exciting to think one day we could get in a car and not have to do a thing. But then there are those who can't drive and say self-driving cars would finally allow them to get around on their own. I can see lights, colors, shadows. Kevin Andrews was born with congenital cataracts. I now have glaucoma. And is blind. But new technology may soon dramatically change his life and so many others. Being able to get in a car and drive on the road with other crazy drivers would be a lot of fun, I'm not going to lie. A fully self-driving car. Tonight, Kevin and dozens of others attended a meeting held by Waymo, a self-driving technology company, which obtained the first ever driverless testing permits just a couple months ago. The permits allow Waymo to test its fleet of 39 self-driving cars without a human behind the wheel on public roads, including in Mountain View, Palo Alto, and Sunnyvale. If you saw this car out on the street, would you trust it? Uh, you have to be a little bit careful around them. But yeah, I trust them. I think we all still have lots of questions about it. Waymo workers answered questions tonight from the public about its testing phases, technology, to where it sees itself in the future. Right now, it's expanded its testing in Arizona as self driving taxis. It would be awesome to just be able to jump in a car and be able to go wherever I want, whenever without having to rely on bus timetable. Kevin, who is the president of the Silicon Valley chapter of the National Federation of the Blind, says he attended tonight's meeting not just because he's interested in the technology, but because he wants to be part of the race to get self-driving cars on the roads. So if it's going to work for everybody, it needs to work for blind people as well. We're a huge uh, number of people that can't drive, and there's a lot of us here, so we want our voices heard. And Waymo workers would not do any on-camera interviews, but they did say that it'll be a while before their cars are out on the streets without any drivers. On the Night Beat, I'm Maria Medina.